friendly fans, it's Friday, and it looks like we have a new limited time story called Convocation of the Creatures. And this is part 200 of the My Little Pony game. First, I want to go ahead and place the Dark Water Springs, which was from our last limited time story last week. I'm going to put it right here. It's really beautiful. I love the purple trees. Princess Twilight, I just need your signature on a few more forms. Just a minute, Raven. Oh, I'm so excited I can hardly stand it. Do you realize we're about to attend an event that hasn't been held in centuries? 753 years, Your Highness. Exactly. I've been reading about this for months. We are going to meet the leaders of every land. What a tremendous opportunity for diplomacy, for negotiation, for sharing knowledge and resources. The first quest is called Living History, and we need to send Twilight Sparkle to read up on the convocation. Hello, every pony. And while Twilight is reading, I'm gonna go ahead and collect from all of our shops. And it looks like I finished a quest here. A posh promise. We were supposed to collect four antique mirrors from the antique shop. Rarity's gonna love these. Fluttershy sure knows her stuff when it comes to kindness. So let's claim that. And it looks like we have a new quest from Rarity. This is called Form and Function. We need to buy two small pawns. All right. I just need to make some room before I can add anything else to Ponyville. All right. And I wish it would go automatically to the spot where I wanted it, but there we go. And let's go ahead and welcome Sapphire Shores. I had bought some new ponies last time we played. She is really fancily dressed and she kind of has a cute little white top hat. That is really awesome. Known as the Pony of Pop, Sapphire Shores is a celebrity mare from Canterlot who enjoys Rarity's clothing designs. We also need to buy a pet crib. And that is 2,800 bits. Sure, I'm just going to put it there. That's fine with me. And Twilight now is done reading up on the convocation, so let's claim that. She has been reading about this for months, you know. Sometimes I just have to slide food under her library door. Mostly hay cakes. All right, let's claim that. I'm ready for everything. The reception, the speeches, the debate, the showcase of cultural arts, meeting creatures from all over the world. What are you looking forward to, Raven? Well, in my view, paperwork is the real work of diplomacy. It may not look interesting, but it is important to Equestria. Certainly more important than what you mentioned. Oh, you're not interested in the convocation of creatures at all, then? Oh, I, I am. Not the ceremony and the pageantry, but the actual work. If I wanted to listen to politicians talking, I could have stayed in Canterlot. But bureaucracy is what really gets things done. And speaking of which, I believe I still need your signature on those. Oh, um, uh, sorry. I'll get right on... Oh my gosh, there's Mount Metazoa! And there's the Hall of Unity! We're here! All right, so we need to check on our community tab. Right now, with my Cloud Days account, I only have two of these ponies. And they need to be assigned to earn ancient treaties. And for our storyline, the next quest is called We're Here. Send Twilight Sparkle to keep a lookout for Mount Metazoa. Number 16. And it looks like that will take five minutes. 
While we're waiting on Twilight, let's check on making an entrance. We still need to send Sven Gallop to inspect the orange stand for brand synergies. And our orange stand is finally complete. So that will take him about seven hours. And we should probably travel over to Sweet Apple Acres anyway and check out what's going on over there. So I think we got this shop from one of the limited time stories. This is Kerfuffle's Boutique and it makes color coordinated accessories. So I just wanted to tap on that one since it's new, but we can use our magnet to collect from all the other shops. And let's see, do we have any other quests to work on? We have the tree of life. We need to place a harvest ready tree and that cost 75 gems. I'm not really that crazy about getting that tree. So I'm going to skip this quest for 15 gems. It's a lot cheaper. Hmm. I love the smell of red delicious apples in the morning. All right. I'm going to watch an ad so I can get two extra gems. Before I forget, let's go ahead and check in with our events. So there's three events going on. The special event is earning points in the special Clear Skies minigame. In this one, you can earn Lemony Gem. So why don't we go ahead and play? That sounds fun. I haven't done one of these event games in a while. So we're going to avoid these dark clouds. Oh no! I'm so sorry, Twilight. Okay, and we have to... Oh, we have to collect as many of the white clouds and the little para sprites as we can. This game is actually much harder than it looks. Oh no, I missed one of those clocks. The clocks give you extra time in your run. I just missed the second one, so I'm not going to get as far as I would like. I'm going to try and play again. I know I can do better. And you can play until you run out of the little lightning bolts. You can go up much faster than you can go down. So if you can stay closer to the bottom of the screen, I find it helps me get more of the items as I see them. All right, we got one of the clocks. That is awesome. That one was easier to grab. All right, I think we did slightly better that time. I can play two more times. You can see up at the top, I have six of those purple lightning bolts left and it takes three of those to play. It's kind of like paying with a token. So I might go back a little bit later and play that. Let's see what other events. In the social event, you collect shards in the Crystal Mine minigame. I'm going to go ahead and hit participate. So you can see the rewards. If you place in the top 150, you can get four step. And the solo event is earning points in the Equestria Girls minigame. And you'll get friendship gems or friendship hearts for that one. All right, some of our characters are complete.
so, did she ever actually sign those forms or? All right, again, I'm gonna watch an ad. I get an extra gem. My goodness, just look at every creature in this reception hall. Yaks, griffins, dragons, and is that? Chief Thunderhooves and the Buffalo Delegation. Yes, I'm familiar. Oh, um, how so? Well, remember when you and your friends helped out them and the Appaloosan settlers? I wrote nine drafts of the treaty they eventually signed after that incident. I had no idea. Well, let's go say hello to them together. I know these events can seem kind of like a gauntlet of meeting after meeting after meeting, but once you get used to it... Thank you, Princess Twilight, but as I said, I prefer to work in the background. You have fun, all right? Oh, uh, okay, if you say so. Chief Thunderhooves, it's Twilight Sparkle, remember me? All right, so this limited time story is basically one of these uh, boss battles. And we have our main hero, Twilight Sparkle. Our ponies will defeat minions automatically over time. Get more team power to beat them faster. All right, it looks like our satchel only holds three coins right now. So we're collecting these magic coins. Let's go ahead and level up our character. Each defeated minion will earn us magic coins. Magic coins will accumulate over time. Check regularly in order to claim them here. All right, I already upgraded that one. Helper ponies give you a permanent boost to your team power. You can try to defeat the boss whenever you think your team power is high enough. The recommended power is 16. Right now it's only 12. But they want us to go ahead and fight the boss. We only have one minute. So I'm going to hurry up and try to level up our character. Now we're at the recommended level. We'll see if we did that quickly enough. All right, I think we can upgrade again. In my experience, you won't be able to defeat the boss unless you have the recommended power. So I wouldn't waste your time trying to do it before. That time we won because we quickly upgraded. And the reward is the sea pony statue. Twilight might like talking to creatures at these things, but I'm more of a fan of the buffet table. I wonder if they have ruby smoothies. All right, let's get the sea pony statue that goes in Canterlot. I'm going to go ahead and place it here. Oh, actually, is that on the bridge? I didn't know you could place anything over the river. I think I might actually move that. It kind of bothers me there. <laughs> is that strange? One. I think it's three by three. Now, let's go ahead and move it. Yeah, you need the bridge to walk on. I'm not going to put a decoration there. I've got a lot of decorations I haven't used. The Lavender Spirit Airship. Let me go ahead and put that somewhere. There we go. I understand your argument, Princess, but the issue of grazing rights is what most concerns us right now. Of course. Have you considered talking to Chief Seabreeze? I think he shares the same... Oh! Excuse me for a moment, Chief Thunderhoofs. There's some griff I ought to talk to. Queen Novo! Hello! 
I didn't know the sea ponies had sent a delegation. Or, I mean, the hippogriffs. Or, you know, I never had the chance to ask you which race you identify as. <laughs> I'm not sure myself. We're lucky to be part of both worlds now, the air and the sea. But either way, we're happy to be invited to the convocation. Thank you again for bringing us out of hiding, princess, and for taking such excellent care of my niece. Skybeak is part of the delegation here, you know, and he's had nothing but good things to say about Silverstream's education. Silverstream's dad is here? Oh my gosh! I should definitely talk to him. Uh, where is he exactly? Oh, he's over there across the hall, by the buffet table, behind all those other hippogriffs. Good luck! So, our second minions are hippogriffs. Now, our little satchel can hold 684 coins. And it's a good idea to stick around until you can't tap on Twilight Sparkle anymore. Those extra coins will really come in handy. And I don't want to complain too much, but I find it very ridiculous that you have to come back every five minutes to collect these ancient treaties. Normally, they'll give you tasks that take about two hours, so you could come back every two hours, not every five minutes. I mean, you have to eat and sleep and do other things besides play My Little Pony. These characters are done every five minutes, so I'm gonna have to um, buy some more characters, I think. Let's see if we could win Diamond Tiara. Oh wow, we have to wait nine seconds. All right, I'm gonna pick pink, yellow, and purple. I didn't get Diamond Tiara. Let's pay for one more. I'm gonna pay for the green one. Oh no! All right. Well, that didn't work out. Let's collect from our Canterlot shops. And I'm gonna place the sea pony statue that I got from the first boss battle. It should be in our inventory. Here we go. I also got a planet fountain. And some flowers. It looks like Swan Song has arrived. I think that's her name. Swan Song is a divine friend of Fancy Pants. Any pony would be lucky to be invited to one of her prestigious dinner parties. Oh, I've got some changelings here that I forgot to get rid of. We can't have those guys hanging around. We could go ahead and get rid of all of them. This is one of my favorite ways to get gems. Now sometimes they do hang out in Canterlot, but you always want to check out here in the shaded areas first. They're a little harder to spot. Hello there. Because they look like your main six characters. Oh, there is one way over here. I don't know how I missed that.
There's one hiding back here. And there's Derpy. I wouldn't have found her back there. All right, let's see if we have any uh, quests to work on. Ooh, welcoming shining armor. I still haven't decided about that. He is 195 gems. So we may have to skip that one, but I'm not gonna do it just yet. Let's go to the Crystal Empire. I'm gonna collect from my shops here. I think maybe I just have one shop. Our characters are done again. Every five minutes is just too often. Let's check on Neon Lights, 156 gems. Granny Smith is 243. Posh Unicorn is 180. And Sea Swirl is 390. All right, I can't afford any of those right now. You can get all the helpers for $30. In my Randolph Cake account, I am going to buy Sea Swirl for 390 gems because she brings back seven times the amount of those ancient scrolls. She goes in Canterlot. She has dolphins as her cutie mark. This pony just loves to watch dolphins at play. If she had her druthers, she'd do it all day. Alright, chatting about sunken artifacts with Twilight Velvet will take five minutes. If you get in the top 100 of the community tab, you can get Regal Hippogriff. If you finish in the top 500, you can get Window of Unity. And if you finish in the top 1000, you get 30 gems. Let's get rid of some of Sombra's corruption. These take shards. And over in my Randolph Cake account, I bought two new Crystal Foals. Let's take a look at their bios. Blue Crystal Foal. His Spike Fan Club has like a million members. He'll invite you too the next time he remembers. That's the Blue Crystal Foal. And we have the White Crystal Foal. Like all of his friends, he's on the Spike Train. From the tip of his tail to the top of his mane. All right, let's switch back to cloud days now. And we're ready to free the yellow crystal pony. So let's go to our inventory. We can build her house now. This one was my favorite. I love this pony. She is crystal yellow. She has crystal pink hair. She has a headband of like sea green or turquoise. And then her cutie mark is three cute little hearts. So she's perfect. She's the perfect pony. Agate House will take 24 hours to complete. And so now we've finished Flutter Free. Wow, Fluttershy was a lot more confident about that than usual. And I mean, wouldn't you be? All right, let's claim that. For a splash of red, Fluttershy says, We we did it. She's free. And do you know that she loves plants just as much as I love animals? She's very sad that the Empire's crystal trees have withered after all this time under the curse. Would you please help me plant some new ones for her? Alright, we need to plant three carnelian trees. 
Those are 8,000 a piece, but I think we can do that. So we finished a splash of red already. Mmm, got any ruby trees where those came from? Just asking for a friend. And then we have Feeling Complimentary is our new quest. Those trees look lovely, but do you think we should plant a green one there too? Rarity has always told me how pretty color contrast can be, and I think my new crystal pony friend would really like it. So we need to plant 10 Peridot trees. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fluttershy sure was right about that. Those trees do look tasty. I mean, great. They look great together. So the next quest from Fluttershy is called Biodiversity. We need to win large flower bushes in the balloon pop game. Now, from experience, I would say to skip this for two gems because you never get what you want in balloon pop. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip it. The empire's looking greener and redder than ever. Thanks for helping out Fluttershy with all that. I know it makes her happy. All right, so we have new empire, same sky. And we need to play the telescope mini game with the ivory crystal pony. I'm so glad we freed that crystal pony. And he's really great to talk to, too. He's interested in history, in magical studies, even in astronomy, just like me. In fact, we made plans to do a little stargazing together while he recovers. All right, he is ready to play the telescope game, finally. And I am going to watch an ad. This game always makes me hungry with all the candy and milkshakes and apples and carrots. I guess I love pony food. I don't know why I had such trouble with that one that time. Here's our carrot. All right, hopefully, even though I didn't do so well in that round, we will get to where we need. All right, we just needed to play, so we finished New Empire, Same Sky. Aw, I think it's really sweet that those two are getting along. These Crystal Empire ponies are pretty cool. All right, let's check on the new one from Twilight Sparkle called Preventative Measures. Collect magic shards in the Crystal Empire. I told that Crystal Pony that Sombra might be trying to come back and he wants to help us keep every pony safe too. He thinks magic shards might be the key to stopping Sombra and he knows where we might be able to find some. All right, let's try to collect them. I'm gonna go to the crystal mine. Magic shards are really hard to collect here, but let's give it a try. I'm gonna pay five gems, we'll get farther. I hope I do well, so I don't waste my gems. I could always pay gems to skip it, which might have been wiser.
Sometimes you have to sit and carefully think out what you want to do in this game and decide what is going to cost more. But you live and you learn. It's okay to make mistakes. Oh no! I can't believe I didn't see that. I'm going to watch an ad. All right, let's get going. <laughs> they put it right in front of me again. Okay, we need magic shards. Right now, we are collecting kindness shards. There's one. There's two. We need some more. Oh no, I missed that one. I needed that. There's three. Oh, it's so hard to get those. Four. Okay, just one more. One more magic shard. Come on. Oh, that was so close. There we go. All right, I'm satisfied. <laughs> now I can mess up all I want. Let's see how far we can get. Oh no! Of course, my classic mistake, jumping when I need to stay low for that shadow bolt. All right, I'm gonna click on preventative measures. Whoa. Those are some pretty great magic shards. I guess some place that's sort of made of crystal would have a lot of them, wouldn't it? Mining for magic. Collect magic shards in the crystal mine minigame. Oh man. All right, I'm gonna wait for next time to do that. So let's visit Kluge Town. I have a couple of quests finished here. I'm going to click on the spike one first. Who put all those new roads down? Every pony must feel safe enough to go outside more. I'm not saying it's the cactus guard, but it totally is. All right, let's claim that. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Airships? Pirates? A performance art district? This place is amazing. I mean, not that I've been here before, but still amazing. Princess Skystar, it's great to see you, but um, why are you here? I thought you'd be back at the Hippogriff Kingdom with your mom and every pony else. Oh, <laughs> I see why you'd think that, but the thing is, Hippogriffia is kind of a bunch of ruins right now. Because instead of living there, we lived, like, underwater for years? Anyway, some of us, um, kind of wanted to ask if we could live here instead. So this new quest is called The Friendly Skies. Hippogriffs are good neighbors, we promise. Or, at least, I'm a good neighbor, except sometimes I get a little heated when I'm making friendship bracelets. Anyway, that looks like a good place. Get to Hippogriff Landing. All right, let's see what we need to do. We just gonna tap on it. We need to bring Shards of Honesty. I have those. I have to score points in the Equestria Girls mini game. Place Kluge Town Cantina. Let's see, 200,000 bits. All right, let's do it. And let's check out this one from Capper. Clean sweep. You know, Twilight asked me to take out her trash sometimes, but 
This looks a lot harder. I'm not sure if even I could set that stuff on fire. So now we have hard sell. Nice. Now all we gotta do is get the merchants to come back. I'll lay three to one odds most of them are cooling their heels at the tavern. Anyone feel like talking some sense into them? Send Twilight to get Patchwork Tavern patrons to return to business. Okay, let's assign Twilight and it's going to take her three hours. And Twilight's busy. But we need to send Pinkie Pie to motivate the stall holders at the Kluge Town Bazaar. Alright, let's see if we can get Pinkie to do that. Needs to be 20% cooler. Party time! It's gonna take her six hours each time, so let's hit go. Hmm. It seems like we can't send her yet for some reason, so I'm just gonna keep working on these quests until Pinkie can do her job. <laughs> but I think we're done for right now. Of course, I need to go back and play the minecart minigame and the Equestria Girls dancing minigame. But I'm going to leave you all for today. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you'll get notifications. Also, check out Jojo Science Show, Kids Science, where Jojo and Grace, my kids, do lots of fun science experiments. I love you, friends, and I hope you have a fabulous day.